If your mind is racing with thoughts like, who am I to think that I could start a preschool? Or am I even good enough to do this? Do I need a degree or experience? Or who would even sign up for my preschool? Well, let me just tell you, you're not alone because I had the exact same thoughts as you. So listen up, I'm about to show you that when you realize you are enough, nothing can get in your way. Welcome to the Preschool All-Stars Podcast. I'm your host, Joy Anderson, and today I'm going to help you identify the strengths, talents, and skills that you already have so that we can package them up into an amazing niched preschool that everyone will want to rave about. Now, before we identify your strengths, though, I want to let you in on a little secret. Contrary to what other people have said, you do not need a license or a degree or experience to start your preschool. I'm gonna show you how. Because right now, you, at this moment, are exactly enough. I want that to sink in for just a quick minute because I guarantee you're probably thinking, but wait, Joy, I don't have a degree, I don't have experience, I don't have dot, 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 right? I mean, we all do that to ourselves. But guess what? I didn't have it either. I was a single mom with three kids to support. I didn't have a degree in early childhood education and I didn't have any experience teaching in a preschool classroom. I still remember the endless nights of searching on Google, trying to figure out what are the requirements for licensing? What degree do I need? What experience do I need? Is all of this just gonna be for naught or would everything I was trying to do just be worthless? I had my back up against the wall. I only had 30 days to create a full-time income before my mortgage was due. I had no other options. I was not gonna put my kids in daycare, not gonna get a job, and I wasn't gonna start a home daycare either. And that's when I made the ultimate discovery. Licensing was not as scary and as big of a monster as I thought it was. In fact, most states don't even require you to have a certain degree or experience to start your preschool. And guess what? I even found a way for you to start a preschool without a license, a degree, or experience. Yes, I'll tell you all about that soon. So after refusing to give up and determining at that moment that I was enough, that I didn't need that degree or experience to still be a successful preschool teacher, I eventually got my preschool started. But you know what? It wasn't easy. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I made a ton of mistakes. In fact, my preschool all-stars can attest, I've shared those mistakes with them very openly. But I learned how to find the education that I needed online. I learned how to use the experience in my classroom and improve with it. I was far from perfect, but you know what? Nobody's perfect. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. So many in the early childhood education space might say, Joy, you probably should leave this to us. You probably shouldn't be trying to lead this movement. You probably shouldn't be telling women that they don't need a degree or they don't need experience. In fact, I actually remember a letter that I had received from a well-known reputable organization in the preschool space telling me point blank, Joy, Just because it worked for you doesn't mean it's gonna work for every other woman. You should not tell these women that they can start preschools because what if they mislead a child and harm their developmental progress? What if, oh my gosh, are we really going to go to that? Are we gonna say, well, what if this could happen? What if a lot of things could happen? Basically to say that none of us should try to educate a child unless we had a degree. Should I go as far as to say then that women and mothers should not educate their children without a degree? Are we no longer able to educate our children because we don't hold a degree? What about a homeschooling mom? Do you get where I'm coming from this? So I would have to say that I disagreed with that statement of this letter where they said, Joy, you shouldn't be teaching women how to start preschools. Just because it worked for you doesn't mean it's gonna work for them. Well, let me just say this. Just because they have the degree or experience doesn't mean they should be in the classroom. And I think we all know a teacher or several who should have retired a long time ago or should have never set foot in the classroom. So just because they do have a degree or experience doesn't make them fit 
to teach children in a classroom setting either. So I cannot sit here and say that, oh, there is only one standard, one right way to teach preschool or start preschools or be in the preschool space, period. In fact, I do believe that there are four things a woman must have in order to teach preschool and start a preschool. We'll get to those in a second. You know what's funny is I am a loving homeschool mom, yet I never took one college class in education. I am an exceptional preschool teacher, yet I never took one college class in early childhood education. I am a phenomenal business owner, yet I never took one college class in business. What I have done though is I've committed to a lifelong love of learning, and I suggest you do it as well. And in fact, I have a saying in Preschool All-Stars, it goes like this, that I truly do believe that any woman, regardless of her background, degrees, education, experience, regardless, can start a preschool if she does these four things. Are you ready for it? Number one is loving to children, obviously. (laughs) And that's what I was saying was, you know what? Just because you have a degree and experience doesn't mean that you hit number one standard. You get that? Okay, number one, you gotta be loving to children. Number two, you have to commit to learning and implementing NAEYC's developmentally appropriate practices. That, my friends, is the gold standard. That is what you need to rise up to and hope to achieve in your preschool classrooms. Number three, follow my trainings on how to create a successful preschool. And finally, number four, don't give up. Yes, I truly do believe that if any woman, regardless of her background, does all four things, I can help her create a successful preschool. Now, if she misses any one of those, though, I can't help her. Can you imagine, though, that if I had listened way back when to myself and thought, I'm not enough, I'm not good enough, I don't have the degree or the experience, I've never taught preschool before, who am I to step foot in a preschool classroom thinking that people would want to come to my preschool without any experience? If I had stopped and never started my preschool, who then would have taught over a 1,000 students? Who then would have employed over 50 teachers? Who then would have offered a premier early childhood education experience to my community? Who would have done that? Nobody was stepping up to do that, but I did. And because I didn't stop, Those families' lives, my family, the preschool teachers' families, everyone in the community was blessed because I didn't give up. I didn't listen to them. I chose to say I'm not a product of my past. I can overcome that. Just because my experience in my past doesn't mean that I am limited. In fact, I would dare say that what you've gone through is actually your strength. And can you imagine if I had stopped before I even helped other women to start preschools, if all I listened to was that letter of the woman saying, you know what, Joy, just because it worked for you doesn't mean it's going to work for other people. Who then would have taught the 5,000 women and helped them create successful preschools? Who then would have blessed the hundreds of thousands of lives that these preschool owners are serving? Who then would have led this movement? Who would be talking to you right now, willing to be your cheerleader in your corner and help you get your preschool started? Who's calling in life would this be? This wouldn't be anyone else's calling, but mine. So I'm urging you right now, do not think that just because you don't have a degree or you don't have experience or someone said something to you in the past, that that needs to hold you down. Thank heavens I didn't stop and I didn't listen to the naysayers on my journey. I'm asking you, put those blinders on, focus on me, block the naysayers out. I'm here for you. So while everyone else is out there arguing about degrees and experience, We are out there changing lives, blessing communities, and teaching from our heart. We know we are the underdogs. We know we have a lot to learn. That's what makes us so great. We fight for our place at this table. We commit to providing the best quality that we can possibly offer, and we refuse to give up. 
That's what makes us preschool all-stars. And now that you know my backstory, let's just clear the air for a quick second uh, because there's a couple myths that surround this idea and I just wanna get clear and make sure that we're on the same foundation. Personally, I much prefer truth to fiction, don't you? Myth number one, you need a license, a degree, or experience to start a preschool. Now, I know that I've told you that's false, but let me go ahead and prove it to you as well. Let's talk online preschool for a second. You do not need a license. In fact, there is no license for online preschool. That's because there is no governing agency over the internet, (laughs) over online preschool. And so, yes, you can start an online preschool without any degree, any experience anywhere in the world. Now let's talk local preschool. Like I said, there is a certain number of students that you can teach at one time without requiring to be licensed. For instance, in Idaho, I can teach up to six students at one time without being licensed. That means I can have four different classes of six students each. That's 24 students. That's a lot of tuition without needing to be licensed. And again, if I don't need to be licensed, it doesn't matter if I have a degree, or if I have experience. Do you follow me? Now, I always tell people, let's just get you started right away. Start with online or start with local. You can start with the number of students that you can teach up to that certain limit before being licensed. And then if you want to get licensed, which I think it's a great idea to get licensed, but you don't have to start with the license. Do you follow me? So if you wanna get licensed, it's very easy. You get licensed as a daycare but you operate as a preschool. Do you see the distinction? There is no preschool license. And what's awesome is most states don't even require a certain degree or experience. For instance, in Idaho, you don't need a degree and you don't need experience. So when you're getting your daycare license and you're operating as a preschool, you simply choose to only enroll children ages three to five and only be open for a couple hours a day. The daycare licensing agency cannot restrict you from doing that. They cannot say, "Uh uh-uh, you have to be open for 12 hours, and they certainly can't say, oh no, you have to take all ages. Now, most of our preschool all-stars don't have an early childhood education degree, and most of them have zero teaching experience. Like I said, you can learn everything online and you can learn through experience in your classroom as well. And at the end of this episode, I'm gonna be giving you my strengths finder quiz. I bet you'll actually be pretty surprised by all the experience and knowledge you already have, even though you might not classify it as teaching. Myth number two, you need business experience to run a successful business. False, (laughs) you don't need business experience to be able to run a successful business. In fact, why do you think franchises like McDonald's are so successful? They're successful because they have an operating manual. They've taken all the steps that the person needs to know, broken them down into very manageable tasks, That's why they're successful. There's something to follow, a step-by-step process. It is no different with our preschool all-stars because everything that needs to be done has already been done by me and thousands of other preschool owners, and we've documented it all, all the little nuances. So here, you just follow the step-by-step process, and we get you from A to Z, get your preschool started. Myth number three, parents won't sign up for my preschool. False. The truth is parents will sign up for your preschool when you give them a reason to make them want to sign up. That makes sense, right? You simply add more value into your preschool so that parents are super excited and you can offer a really cool niche as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Myth number four, you need to know how to manage a classroom of children. False. The truth is you don't need to know how to manage a classroom of children on your first day. Guess what? Every preschool teacher, I don't care how many years of experience they have, they all had a first day and you're gonna have a first day too. And every day you're gonna get a little bit better. It just is downhill from there. And what I love most is that when you bring your caring, loving manner to the children, Just being able to create a relationship with them is what they desire, it's what they want most. So having all these little teacher tips in your tool belt, 
you know, that's great and things, but truly it all stems from the relationship you have with your students. Now, if you're thinking that you have to have like an over-the-top personality or super energy, like maybe perhaps I do as a preschool teacher, that's not accurate either because we have personalities with our preschool teachers of all sorts. In fact, some of my best loved preschool teachers were incredibly quiet and well-reserved and just incredibly loving to their students. So don't think that you have to have an over-the-top personality just to be a preschool teacher. As long as you're you, your students will love you. Myth number five, you need to be pretty techie to be able to start a preschool, local or online. False. The truth is you don't have to know all the itty bitty steps. Again, like I told you, you just have to know how to follow the steps. The cool thing is, is that when you have a giant task, just break it into little manageable steps. Have you heard the saying, how do you chop down a tree? Well, one swing at a time. You just keep swinging over and over. No different than when you have a large task that seems hard. We just break it down into easy little steps for you. Plus, we've already done a lot of the work as well. Myth number six, you need an amazing degree and years of experience to be able to charge a premium tuition. False, you don't need an amazing degree and years of experience to charge a premium tuition, but you do need these two components. The first component is adding more value to your preschool. Remember what we said? Being able to give them a community, a family feel, and giving them more than any other preschool is going to give them. I'm talking free things like free t-shirts, free family events like a fall carnival, Christmas party with Santa, maybe even a safety expo with police officers and firefighters. One year we actually did it, it was so fun because we had also the hospital come over and they were able to give helmets to all of our preschoolers so they could ride their bicycles safely. You can also give free other events, things like holiday parties, or you can give other things like a huge free graduation. So instead of charging, just rent a huge space. We actually had over 800 people that could come to our graduation and we filled it every year, standing room only. It was amazing. The students were up on stage, singing, dancing, laughing, getting their diploma and in the audience, the parents were bawling because they're, oh my gosh, my baby's growing up. So being able to give these events to your family is so amazing. It truly does create this community feel. The second thing you need to add to your preschool to be able to charge that premium tuition is a niche, niche down. And if you're saying, what is a niche? It basically gives you a unique selling point. So in a preschool type of setting, what kind of curriculum can you add to your preschool day to really set your preschool apart from others? I'm talking perhaps a Spanish curriculum or a farm-based curriculum. What about a Montessori or even cooking classes or dance classes or yoga, or music classes. What can you add into your preschool day that parents are just going to rave about you? You can also do a different unique selling point with small class sizes or adding a specific philosophical approach to your preschool curriculum or even individualized assessments. So again, those two components you want to add are adding more bang for the buck, right? So you're going to give more than just preschool. And then second, you're going to niche down with your preschool to be able to truly have something where parents are going to rave about you because they know that you have this one thing that is just so amazing, nobody else offers it. And now I'd like you to listen to these two women whose lives were changed because they decided to start a preschool even though they didn't have the right degree or experience. Hi, my name is Rebecca Brock and I'm a preschool teacher, but I wasn't always one. About nine years ago, a friend just randomly sent me an email and said that um, she found a preschool training program, how to set up a preschool that she thought sounded like it would be a good fit for me. And that came at a really opportune time. I had was loving staying home with my four young children, but I was missing terribly my time in the elementary school classroom. And also I was feeling the financial pinch of my decision to stay at home. I wanted to do something to help to contribute to the finances and the financial situation of my family. Um, At preschool was a perfect idea, but I had no idea where or how to begin that process. She seemed to answer every question I had. I had a wonderful university education, 
But in college, I didn't learn how to recruit my own classes, to market myself and my program. So I just took a leap. I invested myself and my future in Joyce Trainings, and she answered every one of the questions that I had. And if I fast forward to now, almost nine years later, um, my preschool, my family, and I were all flourishing. Because I took the chance and applied um, the sound principles that I was taught in those trainings, um, I have been blessed with the skills and the knowledge and the confidence that was necessary to, to not only start, but to maintain successfully my own preschool. Um, I've also been blessed with uh, full classes and long wait lists so that my future is secure as well. Um, I've been blessed with financial security that I didn't have before um, and peace of mind that comes with that financial security. In fact, recently, um, I'm sitting in my preschool room um, that we recently were able to add. And I was also blessed with a really flexible career that gives me an opportunity to do what I love and enjoy and what is my passion, um, but that also works in the best possible way for both my family and myself. If you're considering starting your own preschool, I would really recommend giving Joyce Trainings a go. Um, you have nothing but exciting opportunities and experiences and blessings to gain from your investment in yourself and your future. Um, thank you, Joy for the opportunity that you and blessings that you have created in my life. Thank you. Hola, amigos. I'm Kristen Lucas-Smith from Stockton, California, and I'm the proud owner of La Casa Bilingual Preschool Online. And you know what? Before I started this online preschool, I actually was a college professor teaching online, and I loved it. I loved it. But one day, I was actually praying to God because we had waited 12 years um, for conceiving our son, and during that time, I started thinking to myself, what's going to happen in the next couple of years? for him going to preschool. I don't want him to go to a daycare. I actually want to teach him myself. And so I stumbled upon Joy's book, Joy Anderson's Start Your Preschool Book, when I was going on Facebook. And it was an answer to my prayers because I was like, wait, hold up. I already teach college students online. I would love to be able to teach preschoolers. So when I actually found this book, I really wanted to stay at home with my son. And so she shared with me in this book, I'm going to tell you so many amazing testimonials on here of so many other mothers that started their own preschools all around the world. Now, with Joyce's book, I want to tell you, when I read this book, it was in a matter of three days. I was on a trip to the Bahamas with my husband and our family for celebrating my birthday, and I couldn't put the book down. I was on the beach reading this book, and I was really, really excited about it. So after reading this book, I have been able to cover our mortgage payment and also influence over 50 preschoolers nationwide. Yes, you heard that right. Nationwide because we're now online. When schools were closing because of COVID, my preschool was opening. So I'm super excited about the fact that I got a chance to start my own online preschool. And if you're on the fence, I want you to get off that fence, buy this book, and let it be your journey to start your own preschool as well. All right. See you on the other side. Adios. If you'd like to get a free copy of the book these amazing women were talking about, go to joyanderson.com to be able to request your free copy. The book is free. All that I ask is you help out with shipping. So again, go to joyanderson.com, but hurry and get your copy before I run out. Thank you for listening and following us on our journey. Be sure to head over to Apple Podcasts and rate and review this podcast. Hopefully we've earned your five stars. This episode is day three of our seven students in seven days challenge. The challenge is designed to help you sign up your first or next seven preschoolers in just seven days without needing to create a website, without spending money on advertising, and without having to talk to people face to face. Yes, this works for local and online preschools, even if you haven't set up your preschool yet, and even if you don't have a degree or experience. Yes, this works for you. 
To help you during this challenge, I put together a free worksheet for you. It's called the Strengths Finder Quiz, and it correlates with today's training. It'll help you identify the strengths, talents, and skills that you already have so you can bundle those up into an amazing package and niche down your preschool so parents will rave about you. Now, this is a super fun worksheet and it only takes about five minutes to complete. You're definitely going to want to download it. Go to joyanderson.com to be able to instantly download that. Now, women that complete this challenge are 10 times more likely to create a successful preschool. So trust me, you're gonna wanna do this. To download today's worksheet, just go to joyanderson.com and click on the seven students in seven days challenge graphic that will be able to instantly download for you. And don't forget, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to these next episodes because they're gonna help you continue on your seven day challenge. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you how you can start a preschool this month, yes, I said this month, without needing to get a location, without needing to quit your day job, and without needing to get a loan or a grant. Until next time, keep serving, keep teaching, and keep growing. We'll talk to you soon. 